Choose the word that, when inserted in the sentence to replace the blank, best fits the meaning of the sentence. The crowd expects a big game from their quarterback, Nigel McGee, who stated he is eager to blank for his costly fumble in last week's game. So first let's highlight some key parts here of expects a big game. And big game implies that it's going to be good and it's going to be positive. The other thing, his costly fumble. So this implies that previously he made a mistake or he failed at something and he's trying to repent for it. So when I go to the blank who stated he is eager to blank for his costly fumble, we could say he's trying to make up for it. So I'm going to write that over here. To make up for. So now we're going to look at our answer options and see which of them are similar or matching the definition of making up for something. So let's go for it. We've got replay, which implies that you're going to repeat the action. So Nigel McGee, who stated he is eager to repeat the action of his costly fumble. This doesn't make any sense. He said that he's trying to repent for it. He's not trying to repeat the mistake. So we'll cross it out. The second one is spout, which means you're sending out liquid forcibly in a steam, which has, I hope, nothing to do with the sentence or the sport, so we'll cross it out. The third one is atone, and this does fit the definition of make up for, who stated he is eager to atone for his costly fumble. It fits the sentence and it fits make up for, so we'll leave it blank. The fourth one is trifle, and trifle means you're not taking someone seriously and you don't respect them. And clearly, Nigel does respect the game, and he respects that he messed up last time. That's why he's trying to fix it, and he's eager to fix it. So it doesn't fit the sentence, if anything it's the opposite, so we're going to cross it out. And the last one is succeed. Nigel McGee, who stated he is eager to succeed for his costly fumble. So whilst yes, he is trying to succeed in the big game and win, it doesn't fit the sentence, because it says for his costly fumble. If it had said something like after his costly fumble or following his costly fumble, it would make a lot of sense and it would fit the sentence perfectly. But due to the word choice, it just doesn't fit grammatically, so we're going to cross it out. And when we look at our answer options, there's only one that wasn't crossed out, a tone, which is our final answer.